here with one man cousin Tay and Hot Shot Hacker. What's good, y'all? Gotta be. Monday. Who <laughs> knows? Monday in the gym, you already know. Yeah. What y'all getting into? Sure in the day, man. Active training. It's an everyday thing. Yeah. Monday through Sunday, 25 8. Coming off some fights this weekend. Yes, sir. Speaking of the fights, your man Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez. Yeah. What y'all thought? I think it was a great performance by Shakur. Uh, showed his boxing skills. Uh, at the end, though, I don't really like the running around the ring thing. So I ain't really my thing. So yeah, man. But look, he showed a great, great talent. He's a great in my eyes. He, he should definitely be in, in, in that pound kind of pound list. I kind of was disappointed with Shakur. Um, not because of the fight, actually, the fight, nah, nah. Not because of how it went, it was more so because with Jamel Herring, he showed that real killer instinct, that real grit. I feel like the respect he showed Valdez was, all right, you a tough Mexican, and I'm a hell of a boxer. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to box, which is cool. But it was times he had Valdez there for the beat, like, like pick it up on me, like, that was the only thing I was like, yo, why are you not really beating the shit out of me? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Because Valdez wasn't doing nothing that Shakur never saw before. He was squaring up. He was tightening up, sitting in front of him. You know what I mean? Just enough time to get hit with a shot. I mean, I don't know. That part made me feel funny. But but Shakur is definitely the superior boxer. You know what I mean? He kept his distance like he always do. Um, picked his shots like he always do. Um, he showed the separation early. And because of that, I mean, Valdez, to me, shut down. Valdez was still fighting, but Valdez wasn't leading with his jab. He was walking in. Um, he was just looking for one shot. The right hand landed here and there, but nothing behind the right hand. So I felt like if, if, if Oscar Valdez would have been bringing me a left hook back, he would have found some type of success. I also felt like if Shakur, Shakur kept picking at that body a little bit with the left hand, I was looking for his right hook. His right hook never came back. So I, <clears throat> I felt like they was both being cautious with each other. I felt like they was taking their time. They was fighting, and it was an action pack fight, but it wasn't one of them joints like, we going for broke. It was one of them joints like, no, I got you. I'm going to match that. And I'm, you know what I mean? Good fight, though. Real good fight. I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't not uh, give any props. It, it, it was a good fight, but I just think Shakur could have really stopped it because they could have really beat the shit out of Oscar Valdez. Broke it down with tweezers. I like that. Yeah. It, it, I respect that. I respect it, that. Instead, he just gave him a little beating. Put a little gash under his eye. I mean, sent him on his way. Stop playing with me, John. When he dropped him, did you think that he was going to press the gas? Most definitely. I, I thought he, I thought he was going to press the gas because only because that was a vulnerable situation. But if we, if we be honest, Valdez wasn't all the way completely hurt. He was just more so. He got. It was more so like a flash knockdown because he got caught with the check hook. Check hook sent him through the ropes. When he turned around. Uh, Shakur burned up on him and, and kind of like grazed him with a with an uppercut. It wasn't like the hardest shot. You know what I'm saying? So, but I did think he was going to turn it up after that. You know? I, I always think that with any fighter, I think they should turn. When you see somebody go down, that just. But you got, the reason you got to be cautious is because my mother my mother used to say all the time, a uh, scared man to kill you. So if a man know his back to the wall, he don't got nothing else. He'll ball up his fist hard as he can, close his eyes and make a wish. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be on the end of that motherfucking rainbow. He was boxing him technically, though. Like, he was boxing him. So I ain't know if Shakur was going to get broke yet. Yo, like, Yo, you feel me, though? That's how my mind... I, I get it. I get it. I respect it. But I just feel like Shakur, he was boxing the whole time. He never tried to brawl him. Yeah. He was being smart the whole time, so I ain't... I, ain't, I, ain't. Yeah. I felt like, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't trying to fight. He wasn't trying to fight Oscar Valdez's fight, which yeah. is smart. But it was times Valdez wasn't going to be able to do shit. You could tell. Shakur was just too quick, too fast, too accurate. And even when, like I said, even when he did hit Shakur, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good enough shot to really yeah, change the fight. It was a, it was a grazing shot most of the time. Cause Shakur stayed high up in the air on angle, turned off a lot of shit. I mean, it was a good fight though. I like it though. It wasn't a shitty fight. It wasn't a shitty fight. Good fight. Who do you want to see Shakur in the ring with next? Right now, immediately at 130 pounds. I ain't gonna lie. I would like to see a Lomachenko John matchup. I would like to see a realistic. Yeah, realistic. I'm gonna say Tank for the rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm I gonna know that's further down the line. Tank, yeah, I say Tank in like three years. But Lomachenko, Lomachenko, Lomachenko right now. 
on Machinko. That's a I mean, it could be 30 or 35. On Machinko right now, because um, he would top rank too. Makes sense. Oh, and then we get some of that crossover money. He could, he could, he, he could, he could, which one? Which one? Uh, Tia No, Tia Fimo? No, that's later. Because Tia Fimo about to go to 40. You know, who's key? Because Tia, Tia Fimo probably go to 40. So, so we're going to get some of that Lomachenko money, some of that Devin Haney money, that Tank money. Devin Haney? 835. But it's probably far too. Um, that's a little far fetched too. I don't know. I, I say beat up Chris Colbert just for sport. Just to do it. Just to, that's like a tune up. <laughs> Why you say that with the smile? Well, ESPN, Cause, man. No plus. ESPN. Because I no plus. Because yeah, Chris, because Chris Colbert came to Philly, he wasn't humble. I ain't like that. He wasn't humble. I ain't like that. He's still not humble by that asshole. So that let me know he really an asshole in real life. Because that asshole supposed to humble you. Supposed to, and I'm not saying walk around with your head held down. No, still be a man. But I'm talking about all that acting like you somebody like you really. Come on, bro. Go ahead with him. <laughs> So Shakur punished. Yo, there was talk about that fight. That's why I said what before. I said. That's why I said that before so Shakur punished. Before the incident, I don't know. Punished me. I electrified fight. I ain't gonna lie to you. Electrified. Oh, that did. No, it didn't start who, off electrified. Who has the best chance at thirty or thirty-five of defeating Shakur Stevenson? I don't know nobody. Tank. Who's, who's number two? Probably, probably Devin Haney. It's all fighters who understand what he's doing. If you can't understand what he's doing, you, you lost. And that's another thing with Valdez. I'm disappointed with him too. Because Valdez said at the press conference, if he wants to box, I'll box. If he want to brawl, I'll brawl. But you knew you was going there on some brawl and shit. Brawling then. Make him fight. He wasn't making he wasn't making Shakur yeah. really fight like no really pressure. yeah he wasn't trying to really make him dig deep there. and that kind of burnt me out too because if you know that's all you got if you feel like that's all you got then go with that exactly. and the reason I'm saying he felt like that's all he had because the way he started the fight he went right at him got low got his hands up tight and started pressing so if you knew you was gonna press from the very beginning you should you were supposed to it was supposed to be the best press out you ever gave somebody in your life you know what I mean at the same time I congratulate Shakur. Because Kenny Bayless was fucking with him about measuring him out, about leaving his arm out there and measuring out, and Shakur didn't let that get to him at all. He kept working, he kept working. So I, I congratulate him on that. He gave him a hard, he gave him a hard. What? He gave him a hard count or some shit. No, I didn't. no, no, no. He ain't never taking the points from him or nothing. He just was warning him about it. He kept warning him about it. A hard warning. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, a hard warning. Yeah. Right, bro, it's round ten. Right? All right, relax, bro. YSL Sports Media is the truth. You don't have to go nowhere and get all of your boxing news. We got it right here. No gossip, just boxing. YSL is always on topic. And then like this, subscribe so you don't miss a thing when I drop it. YSL Sports Media. YSL Sports Media.